Bagalkot for the Mathematics class of Standard 7. Now, in the previous class already I explained you what is the range and what is the mean. A range is nothing but the difference between the highest and the lowest score. Mean is equal to mean or it is called as arithmetic mean also and also called as average also. All three are same. Average, mean or arithmetic mean. All three are same. Arithmetic mean is equal to sum of the all scores divided by number of scores. Okay. Now, related to these two concepts, we are doing now exercise 3.1. Some big questions are there. Please you take the questions from your textbook since I am having the small board here. Just I am going to solve the problems one by one. There are nine means. So please go on taking the questions. I am just going on giving the solutions here. The first one that is find the range of heights of any 10 students of your class. Okay. Solution first this one. Heights of Heights of 10 students, 10 students of my class. Okay. What are those? We will write approximately 120. All are in centimeters. In centimeter. All are in centimeter. 120, 123. 135, 130, 132, 132, 132, 132, 132, 132, 132, 132, 132, 132, 132, 132, 132, 132, 132, 135 here, more than 135? Nobody is there, yes. 135 is the highest height. And what is the lowest height? Lowest height. See, here 120. Less than 120? Yes, nothing is there. 120. Therefore, a range we want. A range is equal to Highest height, highest height minus lowest height. What is the highest? 135 minus 120 is equal to 15 is the range. What is the range? Therefore, a range is equal to 15. Okay, find the range of the heights of any 10 students of your class. This is what the method of finding the range. Okay. Next comes, organize the following marks in a class assessment in a tabular form. Okay, second one is in a tabular form. Second one. First, what we have to do? First, what is the highest and lowest range we have to write? See 4, 6, 7, 5, 3, 5, 4. Lowest is 1. Highest is 9. Okay. First, in the tabular column, the first column is, the first column we will write that is, marks. Marks. Next, tally marks. Tally marks and frequency. Here, 
here tabulation is very very important in the statistics that is the main here here the marks started from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 up to 9 marks are there highest is 9 lowest is 1 now 1 how many times 1 has come how many times 1 has come 1 has come only one time. So what is the tally? This is the tally. This is frequency one time. Then two. Two has two times. Okay, two. Three, one time. One, one time. Then four, three times. Four, one, two, three times. Here, three. Then five, five times. Five, five times. One, two, three, four, five. Here, five times. Next, six, four times. Six, four, one, two, three, four. Four. Then seven, two times. Eight and nine, one one time. Eight once is there, nine also one. Here, one, one. Okay, so this is what the tabulation. On this tabulation, they just ask some questions to you. Which number is the highest? See, in the second one, first answer is which number is the highest here see which number the which number is highest here 9 is highest 9 is highest marks which number is high, the highest the highest the highest number the highest number is number is 9. Okay. Next. Which number is the lowest? The lowest number is number is 1. What is the range of the data? Third one. A range is equal to highest score minus lowest score. Okay. What is the highest score? That is 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. A range of the data. Find the arithmetic mean. See now. Fourth one. Mean is equal to Sum of scores divided by number of scores. Here which are the scores? These all are the scores. See we have to add these all. 4 plus 6 plus 7 plus 5. So better we will write sum of the scores. 4 plus 6 plus 7 plus 5 plus 3. 7 plus 5 plus 3. 5 plus 4 plus 5. 5 plus 4 plus 5. 2 plus 6 plus 2. 2 plus 6 plus 2. 5 plus 1 plus 9. 5 plus 1 plus 9. 6 plus 5 plus 8. 6 plus 5 plus 8. 4 plus 6 plus 7. 4 plus 6 plus 7. This is sum of the scores. Then divided by how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Total 20 are there. Sum of this all is 100 divided by 20. So, here two ones are 
two five zero answer is five. What is the mean? Mean is equal to five. They ask mean is equal to what? Five. So this is what the second mean. Okay. Find the mean of the first five whole numbers. First we have to write third mean. First five. First five whole numbers. Which are those? Zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. Then mean is equal to. Sum of scores divided by number of scores. Sum of the scores: four plus three, seven. Seven plus two, nine. Nine plus one, ten. Ten divided by five. Five are the five twos. What is the answer? What is the mean? Mean is equal to two. Mean is equal to two. Okay. This is. Third main. Now the fourth main. What is the question? A cricketer scores the following runs in eight innings. Find the mean score. First we will write the scores. What are the scores? Fifty-eight, seventy-six, fifty-eight, seventy-six, fourteen, thirty-five. Thirty-five, forty-six, forty-five, zero, hundred, zero, hundred. What we have to find out here? Find the mean score. Therefore, mean score is equal to sum of the scores. Sum of the scores. Divided by number of scores. So fifty-eight plus seventy-six plus forty plus thirty-five plus forty-six plus forty-five plus zero plus hundred. Whole divided by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now the sum of this full is four hundred divided by eight. Eight ones are eight fifties are. So therefore, mean is equal to fifty. This is the fourth main. Fifth main, they have given the table. You just observe the table. In that, some information is there for you. Following table shows the points of each player scored in four games. Player game, game one, game two, game three, game four. Who are the players there? Players are A, B, C. Player A in the game one, fourteen scores. In the game two, player A only. In the game two, sixteen. In the game three, ten. In the game four, ten. These all are his scores. In the game one, two, three, four. Who scores? Game A. Now game, uh, sorry, player A. Player B scores in the game one zero, game two eight, game three six, game four four. Like this, player C scored eight eleven. He did not play game three. He did not play. Then game three thirteen. On this basis, some questions are there. You have to answer those. First, you have to. In the question, you have to take all those. Even the table, you have to put. And in the answer, again you have to put the table. First question you take. Now first answer. I give you. Now answer the following questions. First one. Find the mean to determine A's average number of points scored per game. We have to find out the player A average score of player A. So. Fifth main, first one. You have to take remaining the things. What are the scores in the game one, game two, game three? That we have to write. Scores of scores of player A. Which are the scores? 
फोर्टीन सिक्सटीन फोर्टीन सिक्सटीन टेन टेन ओके नाउ व्हाट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द एवरेज एवरेज नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स ऑफ प्लेयर ए देयरफॉर एवरेज स्कोर ऑफ प्लेयर ए इज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ स्कोर्स डिवाइडेड बाय नंबर ऑफ स्कोर्स ओके सम ऑफ द स्कोर्स व्हाट इज द सम ऑफ द स्कोर्स हियर दिस इज 50 See fourteen, sixteen, thirty, fourteen, fifteen. So here yeah, fourteen plus sixteen plus ten plus ten divided by four. So this is equal to fifty divided by four. This is twelve point five. First question over. Second one to find the mean number of points per game for C. C. Would you divide the total points by three or by four? We'll divide by three. Why? Because he played only three games. Yes. So second answer. Second answer. To find the mean of player C. To find the mean of Player C mean of mean number of player C we would divide by three we would we would we would divide the we would divide the total score by by 3 because because he played only three games because he played he played only three games he played only three games okay this is second question in the fifth main now the third question third one b played in all the four games how would you find the mean first we will write scores of player player b scores of player b 0 8 6 4 0 8 6 4 okay next therefore mean of mean of scores of player b is equal to sum of scores divided by number of scores sum of the scores is 0 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4 divided by 4 this is 18 18 by 4 that is 4 for the 16 that is the answer is 9.5 Mean is equal to nine point five. This is third question. Now, who is the best performer? The best performer. You just observe the table. You will come to know who is the best performer. The fourth answer is player A is player A is. the best performer player a is the best performer player a is 
the best performer. This is not a fifth main. Now, sixth main. You take the the marks out of hundred obtained by a group of students in a class in a science test are. 85, 76, 90, 85, 39, 48. Science marks, science marks scored by, scored by how many students? By students is equal to students, which are those 85, 76, 85, 76, 90, 85. 90, 85, 39, 48, 39, 48, 56, 95, 56, 95, 81, 75, 81, 75. Okay, now highest and the lowest marks obtained by the students. First answer. Highest marks, highest marks, see now here 85, 90 is there, 95, 95 is the highest marks, okay, then lowest marks, lowest marks, you see 76, 39 I think, yes, 39 is the lowest Second one, range of the marks obtained. Therefore, a range is equal to, second one what? They ask the range. Range is highest score minus lowest score is equal to, highest score is 95 minus 39. Answer, 56 is the range. Next, third one, mean marks obtained by the Group mean marks obtained by the group mean is equal to sum of the scores, sum of the scores divided by number of scores. Okay, what is the sum of the scores? We have to find out 85 plus 76, 90 plus. 85, 39 plus 48 plus 56, 95, 81 plus 75, all divided by 10 are there. Okay, so the total of this full is 730 divided by 10, 0, 0 got cancelled. So the mean is 73 mean is equal to 73 so this is method of finding the sums the answers for the given sums next the enrollment in a school during six consecutive years enrollment means admissions in six years consecutive means continuous six years first year second year like that example in 2019 2020 2021 2022 continuous years are called as consecutive years like that six years admission number they have given here we have to find out the mean enrollment of the period so seventh one seventh main uh, Enrollment in a school during six consecutive years. Enrollment in a school during 
during six consecutive years. Six consecutive years. Six consecutive years. Which are those? First we write those. Fifteen fifty five. Next sixteen twenty. These many students in the first year. These many students enrolled or got admitted. Then seventeen fifty. Next two thousand thirteen. Two thousand five forty. Next two thousand eight twenty. Okay. Now what? Find the mean enrollment. Therefore, mean enrollment is equal to sum of scores divided by number of scores. When you add this all, you will get the answer as one thousand two hundred twelve thousand three forty eight twelve thousand three forty eight divided by how many are there? One two three four five six six consecutive six only. Okay, then therefore mean enrollment is equal to just cancel it six two za here zero za. Six five za thirty, six eight za forty eight is equal to two thousand fifty eight, which is what mean. Then now the eighth mean, eighth mean. Again table they have given the rainfall in millimeter it is in a city on seven days. Seven days means you know. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They have given the rainfall in the millimeter. Certain week was recorded as follows. Find the range of the rainfall in the above data. Find the mean rainfall. On how many days was the rainfall less than the mean rainfall? Okay. First, we will write in the find the range. Range means first we have to find out the highest rainfall during these days. First, you have to take the the table. Then you have to write highest rainfall. Highest rainfall is twenty point five. Twenty point five. And then lowest rainfall. Lowest rainfall is zero. Zero point zero. That is zero. Therefore, range is equal to. Therefore, range is equal to highest score minus lowest score. That is twenty point five minus zero is equal to twenty point five. This is first one. Next, find the mean rainfall. Mean. Second one is mean rainfall. Mean. Rainfall is equal to sum of rainfalls divided by number of rainfalls. Of course, also you can write it. No problem. Okay. Now zero plus twelve point two. Twelve point two plus Two point one plus zero plus twenty point five twenty point five plus five point five. Once again, I write properly. Zero zero plus twelve point two plus two point one plus zero. Twenty point five plus five point five plus one point zero. Total of many are there? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. We'll add this. 
the sum of this armful is see we will add here see 12.2 uh, 5.5 1.0 see Forty one point three. Okay, forty one point three divided by seven. Forty one point three divided by seven. This is seven. When you divide it, so you can divide here only. See, divided by seven. Seven five thirty five. Okay, here six remained. Then here point is there. Give one point here. Take this three down. Seven nine is a sixty three. So the mean rainfall is five point nine. This is what uh, eighth in the eighth second one third one. We have to find out what is the mean. Mean is five point nine. They ask here on how many days was the rainfall. Less than the mean rainfall. Less than that is five point nine. See, this is less one, two, three, four, five days. Yes. How many days? On how many days was the rainfall less? Five days. The rainfall less than the mean rainfall was. The rainfall. The rainfall less than the mean rainfall. Less than the less than the mean rainfall was five days. How many days it was less than the mean five? Less than this five point nine. Less than this five point five nine means zero is less than that. Two point one is less than that. Zero is less than that. Five point five is less than that. One is less than less than that. Only these two days more than the five point nine. They ask me here less than the mean rainfall. Mean rainfall is five point nine. Five days it is less than the mean rainfall. This is what uh, the answer. Five days it was less than the mean rainfall. Then the ninth main last one. I am going to do now the ninth main last main in this exercise. The heights of ten girls were measured in centimeter and the results are as follows. Ten girls heights they have given. Then some questions they are asking. We have to answer. First we have to write heights of ten girls. Heights of ten girls. It is given in the centimeter. Okay, it is given in the centimeter. Now, which are those? One thirty-five. One fifty, one thirty nine, one twenty eight, one fifty one, one thirty two, one forty six, one forty nine, one forty three, one forty one. First, what we have to find out? You see, what is the height of the tallest girl? See, first answer. Tallest one fifty here. One fifty one is there. One fifty one. The height of the tallest girl is height of tallest girl is. One fifty one centimeter. Okay, first question over. Second, what is the height of the shortest girl? The height of the height of the shortest girl. Shortest girl is equal to here. The will come. Tallest superlative degree always. Behind the superlative degree, the will come. Girl is equal to 
See, shortest 135 less than that, 128. Yes, 128 centimeter. Okay. Next, third question. What is the range of the data? Therefore, now range. Range is equal to highest score minus lowest score. What is the highest here? 151 minus 128 is equal to Twenty-three centimeter is the range. Okay. Next fourth one. What is the mean height of the girls? Now fourth one. Mean height is equal to sum of heights divided by number of heights. So, the sum of heights, when you add this all, first we will write that 135 plus 150 plus 129 plus 128 plus 151 plus 132 plus 146 all divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 girls are there. Okay, 10 girls are there. No, 146, yes, still some are there. 149 plus 143 plus 141 all divided by 10. Okay. Now on adding this 1414 we'll get 1414 and all divided by 10. This is nothing but 141.4 centimeter is the mean height. Therefore mean height is equal to 141.4 centimeter this is mean height last one uh, how many girls have height more than the mean height see 141.4 is mean height more than that 141 more than the 141.4 we have to see 1 2 3, 4, 5. Okay. Why this is not there? This is just 141. Here we are having 141.4. So, 5 are the fifth answer we can write as how many girls have? 5 girls have height more than the mean height. 5 girls have how height height more than height more than the mean height mean height okay this is what full uh, exercise i have solved okay copy this neatly complete the fair not neatly homework is 3.1 already i told you which exercise i am going to complete that exercise will be the homework for you so please solve daily do the homework maths homework daily become perfect in that again and again if you want you see the video and become perfect okay Thank you for watching, share and subscribe my channel.